We are going to create a V-Buck today. Looks like a little poker chip size piece of plastic. So you can make it as a, as a little token and just keep it like this, or you can put a little hole right in here and make a little keychain out of it. So I'll show you how to make the hole at the end here. So we're in on shape. So we'll go to on shape. We will create a document and we'll call it vbuck and create. First thing we want to do is go into our menu here and go to our workspace units and make sure we're in millimeters. Once we're in millimeters, we click the green checkbox to accept the settings we have. And we're going to start by clicking on our front plane and sketch. Now for that to face me, I can click on front, or if it's not quite there and I'm clicked on front, I can press N and it'll, it'll go front towards me just like that. So we're going to use a revolve tool. So we need to make a shape that we're going to end up, end up revolving. So I'm going to use my line tool and I'm going to start at the origin, click and I'm going to drag. This is going to go about 22 and a half. So I'm going to just go, go here. I'm going to kind of estimate. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go straight up, kind of go over a little bit, and in. And I'm going to click twice, click, click, to finish that. If I only click once, it still wants to draw more lines, and then I have to hit Escape, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to get my Dimension tool here by pressing D or clicking on it here. I'm going to dimension this bottom line is 22.5. Enter. This line is 4. Enter. This line is 8. 8. Enter. This line is 2. So I'll press click, press 2. Enter. Okay, so there's my beginning of my basic shape. Now, the center of the V buck is a dome. It kind of goes up here and over. So, what I want to do, I'm going to create a construction line. So I click on the line tool first and then click here, construction. So it's not really part of my object. It just helps me line things up. So I'm going to click anywhere on this line, anywhere, and just follow it straight over here and not up. You can see when it snaps into place where it's horizontal. Boom, there we go. I click. Oh, see, I forgot to double click. So it still thinks I want, want to draw some more lines. So I hit escape. Okay, now I'm going to use my arc tool over here, and I'm going to make sure I use the three arc tool, the three point arc tool. Okay, and I'm going to click here in a second, and I'm going to drag it over here about the same distance, about the same distance this dot here is from the line. I'm going to just estimate about the same distance over here. So I have my arc tool, I click on here drag this over and I, I keep this again, I keep this horizontal so it snaps to that line. I'm going to kind of guess, I think that's pretty close. Click there and then I for the center, I kind of zoom in here. I want this, I want this to be an arc, a dome in the middle, but I don't want it to pass this because this is going to be the edge of my shape. So I'm going to kind of get close to it and click. Okay, so there's my basic shape of this thing. Now I have to finish the shape with a line here. I'm going to click on the origin and go up to the arc I just created and click. So that creates my shape and I have to hit escape to get out of that line tool. Okay, now I don't need this part of the arc so I'm going to use my trim tool or M for trim and click on this and it'll cut it away. Okay, So here's my basic shape that I'm going to revolve now. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to actually turn this so you can see when it happens. Here's my revolve tool up here. And since this is the only shape I have on here, do you see how it's outlined in orange? That means the computer said, oh, you probably want to revolve this since you know it's the only shape you have on your screen. So we're going to revolve that. And over here, the computer says, okay, what do you want to revolve this around? So see how this is sort of selected here? Uh, or I just selected it now. I'm going to revolve it around here. So it's going to take that shape that I made and it's going to spin it around this. Watch, as soon as I click here, boink, it's going to spin it. So it spins this shape and makes my little disc. That's my little poker chip shape that we're going to make. 
Okay, that's the basic thing. Now, this edge is going to be kind of shaved off. It's called chamfer, which is up here, this tool. And we're going to chamfer this by one millimeter. So I'm going to click here, press one, and enter. So it just stays one. I'm just going to click on the top. So it's going to chamfer this edge and this edge. I can click on them one at a time, or I can just click in the middle. And it does both at the same time, which looks kind of neat. I'm going to turn this up a little bit and click on the bottom one as well. So it does all three. I do all three at the same time. And click on the check mark. So I'm done with that part. Okay, so now I have my little chamfered edges, my little dome shape in the middle, and my basic poker chip shape. So let's click on the top and zoom in. We're going to create those little slots that are around the edges. Okay, so click on top and zoom in a little bit and this time I want to sketch not on the sketch plane back here I want to sketch right on this part right here so I'm going to click sketch and I'm going to click right on top of this right there that's where I want to sketch right on there so I'm going to make some circles starting at the origin here I'm going to click and the first circle is going to be 34 millimeters the second circle is going to be 40 40 enter and we're going to have a construction line circle. So I have to click on the construction line. I already have my circle tool selected. And then I click on the construction line tool. And that just means it's going to help me line things up, but it's not going to be part of my actual object. And that one needs to be 37 enter. Okay, now I'm going to click on my dimension tool just because I like these to be out of here. So I can see what I'm doing. And these are supposed to kind of be, anytime you use a, you dimension a circle or an arc is supposed to be at a 45 degree angle, not sticking out to the side straight. So I, I like to move them there anyway. Okay, now this, these are gonna be the lines of my slot, the upper line and the lower line of my slot I'm gonna create in a second. This is my guide because I need to make a circle right here that's three centimeters. I th I'm sorry, three millimeters. Now notice when I, touch that. I don't want to do that. I don't want that because look at, see that little box it creates? The computer thinks I want that constrained right to there and if I touch that it's not going to line up on the other side perfectly. Like Either way I don't want that to be there or there. I'm going to go a little past it and click and then just press 3 enter. Okay now I'm going to do another one on this side and I want it to be horizontal to this circle. So if I, here's a trick, if I hover on the center and go See if I go out to the side, see that little line? If I go up here, you don't see it, but if I, oh, right there, that little line, that tells me I'm level with that one. So I'm level and I'm on the circle again. I'm going to drag out. Don't stop there. Keep going. Click. Three, enter. Okay, now watch. Really, my slot's done. I just have to erase some other stuff out of the way. So if I click on my trim tool or press M for trim, then I can get rid of a couple things and you'll see that's gonna be my little slot there. Okay, now that's the right shape for my slot, but the thing is I want another slot down here, right here kinda, and another one here, right? So I have this really cool tool here called the circular pattern. Now it's probably showing the linear pattern on your computer. So you have to click on the little triangle next to it and go down to circular pattern. And all I have to do is say, hey, the computer wants to know, okay, what do you want to make a pattern out of? And I say, well, I want this and this and this. And I just highlight the little slot that I made and check it out. It put another one here. And I put another one here. Do you see the real light blue lines? The default is three right here. It just made three of three total of what I made. So I have my original and two others. If I want, I could click on here and push five, enter. And it puts five. See, so here's one, two, three, four, five. They're overlapping, and that's not what I want. But if you ever want, if you're making a snowflake or something that has like a whole bunch of things on it or a bunch of holes, let's say I wanted to drill you know, like 20 holes around this object. 
I could make one hole, click 20, and then I got my 20 holes and they're all perfectly equally spaced. So it's kind of a neat tool. But I want this to be three, so I'll push three, enter. And notice my cursor looks like a mouse with a green check mark on the left side there. So I'm gonna left click, and that accepts those settings. Okay, so now I have those settings entered. Now, cool thing about this is, do you remember when I drew, when I created this circle, I created this one perfectly level with this one. Since it's perfectly level, if I move one, the other side moves. And since these two here and here are, are a pattern based on this one, if I move this one, these are just also. The reason this is helpful is because I've noticed in the V-Bucks that these, these little end of the slots right here, these part of the circle, usually is a little teeny bit below the horizontal line here. So I'm going to go up to here and move this. Oops, see, wrong way. I'm going to move those bottom ones so they're a little bit below. That's about what I think they are. I didn't measure them exactly, but I think that's pretty close. Okay, so now I have my three slots. I'm going to extrude those by clicking Extrude and Remove and 1.5. 1.5 enter and click the green check mark because I'm done with that part. So I have my basic shape, I have my little slots, and we're almost done. So I'm going to click on the top and I'm going to create the V in here. Now I want the V, and I want the V to be on this dome shaped. I want it to be back on this plane here. So I'm going to click on the plane, I'm going to press. Oops, I'm going to click on top. Okay, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click on this plane right here because this is where I want to sketch. Okay. Now, it's going to look like I'm sketching here, um, but I'm really sketching through the object onto the plane behind it, and you'll see why that's helpful in a second. So I'm going to click on my line tool. I'm going to sketch my V shape on here and then use my dimensions on the worksheet to, to straighten it all up. So I'm just going to kind of guess. I'm going to click and drag the first part of the V. I'm going to go down to the center, go back up. And I want this to be level with this one, so I'm going to hover hover over this and then go. And I got that little orange line again. That helps. And it kind of snaps. You can see it's helpful. Blink right there. And I don't want this snapping here because I want to move it later. So I'm going to make sure that doesn't snap to that. Okay, so there's my basic shape. So I'm going to look at my dimensions I have on my worksheet here. And I'm going to use a little parallel tool here. Okay, this is cool because watch. these are, It's kind of wonky right now, but if I click on the parallel tool up here, and then I click on two lines here, I'm going to click on this line and this line. As soon as I click on it, bink, it makes it perfectly parallel. I'm going to click on this one and this one, bink, parallel. Now that's obviously way off, but as soon as I dimension, this is 4.5. This also is 4.5. Um, this dot should be about 3.5 from here. This one's also 3.5. Now I didn't find these dimensions somewhere and copy them exactly. I kind of played with it and and found uh, some dimensions that looked about right. So if you if you don't like it completely and you want to adjust these, feel free to adjust them however you like. Um, the top of the V from here is uh, 7.6. And you notice when I do this one, this one's going to go too. Because I when I first created them, they were equal, they were level. And this bottom is going to be, oops, I missed. Uh, 8.5, 8.5, enter, and this dot right here, I almost forgot that one, is 4 millimeters from the center. Okay, and that kind of tightened everything up and makes it look about right. And then I'm going to extrude this 4 so that it's level with the top of this chip here. 
top of the V-buck. So if I set this face down on the table, it's going to be level and flat. Okay, click OK, and there's my basic V-buck. So if you want to leave it just like a little token poker chip size thing, you're done. If you want to make it a keychain, all we have to do is click on sketch, click on the background of the, the top plane. No, don't click on here, click here. And we'll make a circle. And we'll just go right in the center. I'm going to just kind of eyeball this right from top to bottom. I, I know I'm on the center on this line. That's good. Then I'm between this line and this line. I'm just going to kind of eyeball that because it's close enough. And we're going to make that five. Enter. And we're going to extrude that. And remember, we have to click on Remove. And right now it's going that way. And it's saying, hey, there's nothing there. Your selected tools do not intersect. There's nothing there to hit. So I can click this arrow right here to switch this. So it goes that way. And now it is intersecting with that and removing that. So click the green check mark. Done. There's my V-Buck. Keychain. Yay.